It's a beautiful thing, I think. That Chevy sign. I like this. There's a Cobalt. There's a Blazer. Cavalier. And my big Silverado, which you saw in my very first video. Those wheels, by the way, made it to Colorado. They sold eBay. So, I think we'll talk about my 6'2", 1987 Chevy M1008 military truck. And it's got the 6'2 diesel, 456s, Dana 60 front, 14 bolt full float rear with a Detroit locker. Turbo 400 transmission, NP208 transfer case, which I'm annoyed about because I wanted a 205, but whatever. So, I was talking to uh, Corvair Wild, and he kept saying that his blazer is driving him nuts. I noticed on his videos he had... Uh, glow plug issue so I will show how I did mine now, I can't take the credit for this because uh, I didn't do it myself I mean I did it myself but I didn't figure it out um, I don't remember the guy's name he's on YouTube but if you type in like 6.2 glow plug manual conversion or something like that this guy usually comes up he's the one from uh, I think he's got the Rhode Island accent he's a pretty cool guy he knows what he's doing but anyway so that's a starter solenoid from an 81 Ford. All I did was go to Advanced Auto Parts and say, uh, give me an 81 Ford starter solenoid with a 351 motor. That's what I got. I paid like $8, $9 for that. And I ran a household, pretty funny, a in-house wire, because that's all I had laying around, into my front battery for 12 volts. And I had it running to the power terminal on the top of the solenoid, which is here. I tri would zoom in with this camera, but as you can see, everything gets blurred. Well, at least it does on my screen. But So what I did was, I got a 6.5 turbo kit from Diesel Depot, which I still need to get a wastegate for because I didn't get one with my turbo, GM4 turbo. And I took those new wires and ran them under the other power terminal, which is underneath. You see this big plug thing. And uh, from the other side of the power terminal, I took this green wire here, which is right there, and ran it to a push-button switch inside the truck. And then the other side of the switch has a uh, this line here, which goes to switch, which activates all the, the solenoid and turns the glow plugs on. Because uh, I went through like 16,000 different sets of plugs because the guy who butchered, who owned the truck, butchered the wiring like you wouldn't believe. So there's my push button. And the truck doesn't work right now because two alternators are sitting over there decided to stop working. Driving home from Allentown to here, which is about 45 minutes normally, took me about an hour and a half because I had no headlights. Let me get rid of this junk thing. But yeah, that's, uh, that's my, uh, 6.2 glow plug conversion that I kind of set up. Hopefully it helps Mr. Corvair Wild. Anything to be of service because he's helped me in the past. He just doesn't know it yet because I've watched tons of his videos and he's really, really cool. So uh, if you hear me, CW, uh, you know, give you a shout out. Cobalt. Oh, I'm sorry, Cavalier with 258,000 miles on it. Never had a motor or transmission replaced. It's because it's that. So, and this thing just recently had some quirks. I just had a new track bar, a, uh, a track bar joint put on, because my other one was squeaking. And when I picked the truck up, it started vibe like not vibrating, but the front end started shimmying. Like uh, my steering wheel was doing one of these, going down the road. And it never did that before. So, I called the guys back to put it on, and uh, they said, check your tires. I said, but how could it be the tires if it wasn't doing it on the way down? Said, well, everything's tight, and I retighten everything. I grease the crap out of the kingpins and the steering and all the other fun stuff. And uh, I did just rotate my tires, and uh, that helped. It was interesting. But... So I'm going to be taking this thing to Maryland in two weeks because they have a huge muscle car cruise so uh, anybody who sees me down there give me a shout out and uh, say hi because I usually bring this thing hey what are you barking at can't you see I'm like filming For Christ's sake God anyway um, so if you see me down there give me a shout out oh hey Alucard HD 2500 how you doing 
thanks a lot. I would appreciate that. And there goes an import piece of shit. Junk. Right, Corvair Wild? Jap scrap? Junk. So, if you see me in Ocean City, say hi. And uh, I will say hi back because I love the attention I get with this truck. It's fun. So, alrighty. Well, that's it. That's video number three for me. So, please leave me comments and uh, have a good one. Thanks for looking. Bye.